Deborah Borchardt, and this is your Marijuana Money Minute. New York ended up not approving any adult use legalization this year. Some believe that it might happen in the last few minutes of the legislation meeting, but the bill was abandoned in favor of further decriminalization. Akerna, the combination of MTech and MJ Freeway, began trading this week on the NASDAQ using the symbol KERN. CEO Jessica Billingsley is the first woman to lead a NASDAQ traded cannabis company, and this is the first compliance software company to get approval for listing at the exchange. The stock moved over 200% in its first day of trading, so they are off to a good start. Canopy Growth and Acreage Holdings shareholders approved of that company's merger. There had been some noise from a shareholder that it wouldn't get approved at one point, and that even prompted the company to state that there was no such problem, and indeed, there wasn't. So full speed ahead for this mammoth merger. Metafarm Labs said that it plans to uplist at the Toronto Exchange, and the company also did a $75 million bought deal. Jushi Holdings spent $63 million to buy three unnamed dispensary permit holders. Now these are dispensaries, they're just permit holders. The Corp Flower Corporation signed a $50 million credit facility. Green Flower Media closed on a $20 million Series A round. CanTrust formed a joint venture with Elk Grove Farming Company to make its entry into the California and U.S. markets. And Charlotte's Web increased its hemp planting by 187% to meet demand. And that's it for this week. I'm Deborah Borchardt reporting for the Green Market Report from a very noisy Times Square.